Hello there everybody, this is Alex from Harkwine Guys, being my guide for Vanquish on God Hard. Today we're doing Act 1, Mission 5, called Trust. This mission is going to be the first mission where we're going to have to fight a tank. And it's going to be brutal. So, starting off, we have regular red enemies. I'm just going to call them by their color, just to make things easier. Uh, the red robot guys or whatever. We have the reds, and then we have, I want to say, another variant, or at least the yellow one up top. I think it's the yellow, yeah. So we have the yellow one up here. Again, they're tanky, but, you know, when it comes to headshots, you can at least take them out, like, one to two hits. I'm just using the sniper rifle just because I'm just tired of these assholes. Also, whenever it comes to, like, um, you know, red gorgies poking their head out, or just any enemy, really, poking their head out of cover, they end up actually just doing, like, the same pattern, and they keep repeating that same pattern over and over again. So it makes it much easier to kind of, like, pinpoint where their head's going to be so you can get a headshot. At least when you're sniping, though. But the first part of this isn't too difficult because you're just kind of like working your way up this little segment here. It's the next part. Uh, this next, very next part that can get kind of rough. But there's going to be some um, chicanes, I think they're called. These shield enemies that, that spawn. Go ahead, wipe them out with an EMP. Maybe even a grenade, because you can't throw a grenade behind them and blow them up that way. So... Wipe them out, and then be very careful right here because I uh, we have a turret guy up there. And I want to say we might even have a sniper, a green robot sniper. And they're going to be very, very painful. They'll either one-shot kill you, or they'll put you into ARS. But yeah, you can see I'm using the cover to my advantage. As long as my cursor glows red over the enemy, I know for a fact that I can at least hit them. Even if I can't technically fully see them, I can still hit them. Also, what the hell are you doing, Burns? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? I totally forgot about him doing that right there, too. I remembered it earlier, but I forgot where it was, and I totally forgot it was, like, in this mission. Yeah, this dude's whack. I almost just kind of want to hit him, you know? I almost just kind of want to beat the shit out of the guy. You know? I don't know why. I just... I get this really odd feeling. I just want to beat the living shit out of, out of Burns for some reason. I mean, yeah, he's a dick, but, like, something about him, man, just pisses me off. I don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, heavy machine guns work wonders against chicanes, so I recommend doing that. I missed my EMP on the shield enemy himself, but hey, you know, I knocked out a good couple of the other reds, so that's not bad, right? I actually did die, I think, on the part here or the part after. If there is a cut. Yeah, it's the part after. I died, in the, I died in the next room. Like a moron. Like a maroon. But yeah, that, they'll happen, you know. Death death is going to happen to you, especially if you're playing this game just normally. You're not trying to go for score or anything like that. If you're trying to go for score, then go back to the title screen and restart over. That way you can, you know, try to get rid of that. However, doing that also gets rid of your checkpoint free ammo refill, as far as I'm aware. So, starting off, um, you're going to have the lock-on burst right here. And as you can see, I did pick it up and I did checkpoint. Usually, if you pick up a gun and you checkpoint, that gun from your checkpoint will carry over. However, if you go back to title screen, whatever guns you had last time before you picked up that weapon will still remain. So, the shotgun I had earlier, if I went back to the title screen and came back, would just be the shotgun again and not the lock-on burst. But there's something you could do. If you, need a, if you need a rocket launcher and you don't have one, then grab that rocket launcher, die... Restart checkpoint, and you have that rocket launcher, and then you have another spare rocket launcher on hand, if there happens to be one. So, go up there, lock on burst. I think I jumped down only because they made it seem like I needed to. Like, they were talking about how, like, dangerous it was up there, so I jumped down. The lock on burst is not bad. I think it, like, one, one to two shots regular red enemies, I think. That's what it just seems like it does. It takes forever to kill a yellow, though, because they're fucking... Tanky, they're beefy. I don't know what I was doing there. I, I don't know. I wasted an EMP like a moron, but that happens. But don't worry. You know, we can always get them back. It's no big deal. I'm not too worried. I think I was at the beginning of this game, but then I realized later on during the game, I was like, no, that's not hard. Also, I think this is just mainly for me. Um, I'm going to try to, like, do all eight of these acts the, the, sorry, these missions of Act 1 commentated and then try to have them uploaded within a decent amount of time because these are relatively short videos. Usually, like, 
pertaining to like maybe five to ten minute long missions, which is not bad. Because the game is relatively fast, so that does benefit a lot. Kind of technically, it probably would just be faster if I just OBS'd it, but my old computer is so, so bad at processing that it would just kill it, I'm sure. So this next section here, I'm just trying to aim at like just anything and everything in general. I'm not trying to aim at any specific enemy, but I would recommend trying to target maybe the turret guys. They're not going to be too annoying, considering the fact that the assault rifle works just well. against like taking them out, especially if you aim for the head. You can aim for their feet. As long as you can see their body, you can hit them. I think even there's time. I think there's actually times where you can even hit like an enemy's gun and still do damage. It's weird. It always seems like it. I don't know if that's true, but it always just seems like that's the case. So I get lucky right here and I pick up an anti pistol. Uh, usually this game has like a random, you know, RNG thing to it, where when it comes to like boxes, they'll either drop ammo or they'll just drop like maybe a whole new gun or something. So it's it's never really necessarily always the same thing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's just not. So, if you get lucky, take whatever you like, you know. If you like the shotgun, keep the shotgun. If you like the pistol, you like the pistol. However, when it comes to the tank, I'm stupid, and I didn't take the shotgun. That's the main problem. I took the anti-armor pistol because I thought it would work wonders against the tank. It kind of does, but there's a trick with the tanks. I'm going to let you guys know this now. Is When it comes to tanks, you want to like get behind them, use the shotgun... And then, like, EM like shotgun them, EMP, shotgun, EMP, shotgun, EMP. So that's the little trick. However, with the anti-pistol, the anti-armor pistol, I can kind of just avoid the weak spot in general and just hit him from, like, the side and do at least a good, decent bit of damage to him. Not enough, but just enough to get by. Only use EMP when necessary on the tank. Like, when you have a... A visual on its back. If you don't have the shotgun, if you have a visual on its back, just use the EMP when you have a nice visual. So that way you can, you know, get some some of those weak point shots in. But yeah, I just like to um, do like this small bit of fire. Just, you know, hold R2, shoot every once in a while. That way I can get back into cover as fast as possible. You're going to see me do that quite often in this playthrough as well. Just because it works. I don't know why, but I thought I was shooting that guy... I, I literally thought that that was me that killed him. And then I tried to do the same thing on the other guy, and I realized, wait a minute, I'm not firing. So I kind of fudged that up. That's a trash can. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the tank. Again, I recommend going for, like, shotgun, EMP, shotgun, EMP on the back. However, if you do have the anti-armor pistol, I keep wanting to say anti-tank pistol. If you have that on hand, then you could, you know, do what I did and shoot it from the side and be fine. But anyway, that's it. So take care, everybody.